Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. Thanks for being patient with me. I'm sorry I've been MIA for over a month and I appreciate all the concerned emails. No, I'm not in prison. The amount of emails I've got from people asking me if I'm in jail or if I've been arrested or what's been going on, it's quite comical and it's, it's nice to know what you guys think of me. But I just took a bit of time off of being away but I'm back now and we'll be uploading regular videos. So today I want to have a little chat with you about doubt and I wanted to upload this because the amount of emails I've been getting whilst I've been off about are there any twin flame, am I on the journey, is this journey even real, what's going on, it's, I, I can't keep up with it so I thought I'd make this video to answer it once and for all. And if you are on this journey you will have experienced doubt, you know, like I said, doubt that this person that you think is your twin flame is actually your twin flame. Or doubt that you're on this journey or is this real and I've been there and it's normal and doubt is actually the number one sign that they are your twin flame and that you are on this journey every person on this journey has doubt at some point like I said I did most of the people I work with have and the reason for this is that doubt is fear it's uncertainty it's resistance it's misalignment and when you have soul recognition with your twin you feel completely out of control so then your push comes in and wants to try to understand what's going on and it wants to do this by boxing the journey, you know, boxing what's going on, labelling it because it feels like if it labels things it can understand what's going on and when it understands something it feels in control. Your push energy is never really in control though, your soul is and our soul wants us to trust and that means stepping into the unknown and not being able to see 10 steps ahead and that freaks out your push and this is when you'll see your push will label this journey as narcissistic or abusive or trauma bonds or it's crazy and this can't be going on because it doesn't understand what's going on. But even when you label it as any of those things, there's always this little nudge within you that, you know, I know it isn't narcissism. I know it's not crazy. I know that something different is going on here. So you feel that resistance when you tell yourself that, oh, he or she is not my twin flame. I'm not on this journey. You feel that resistance because your soul knows deep down what's actually going on. And even as you balance, you will experience doubt. Even when your twin flame starts coming back in and you start getting the physical proof that they are your twin and that working with the energy actually works. But there'll still be this little niggling feeling of doubt. That's what happened to me. And that's because doubt is actually the last thing to go. It's the last lingering feeling of fear that balances out and like I said remember doubt is fear so if there's a little bit of fear in your energy field then there's going to be a little bit of doubt and your push thinks as well that if I make you doubt then you'll bring this all down to the 3D you'll try to figure it out you'll try to replay all of the stories over and over again to try and figure out what's going on you'll try and work out are they my twin are they not my twin you look at all the bullshit that's out there, you know, all the signs, the stages, all of the crap that's out there and all of that feeds your push and that's what your push wants. So it makes you doubt on purpose. It sabotages you intentionally to get you to feed it. So that is why doubt is very common on this journey. And when someone comes to me and tells me that they don't know if they're on this journey or that they doubt it, I can usually tell that they are on this journey. I can always tell if someone is on this journey or they're not because... I can feel into their soul signature straight away or I can't. I don't tell people that because it's not really my place to tell them but I'll be able to feel if they are and mostly when people come to me and say I'm not sure I am they're the ones that I can usually tell are and as well you just know you know you just know you're on this journey and that's because your soul knows you know this isn't normal heartbreak you know that this has never happened before you know you're not crazy you know that something different is going on and like I said, you, you know deep down that they are your twin flame, even when your push wants to tell you you're not on this journey or that they're not your twin flame. And this journey is unique and sacred, so of course it's going to be different to anything else you've experienced. And even when you want to get off this journey, your soul will just keep bringing you back to twin flames because it wants you to do this work. And it's only ever the mind that doubts and the mind is fear. You know, your push doesn't want you to resonate, it wants you to doubt for the reasons that I've mentioned. 
And you see people out there who are so adamant that they're twin flames. You know, these, we are twin flames in divine harmonious union for 10 years, yay. Or those sorts of people. Or people who are just so set in their ways that they're twin flames and there's no doubt in their mind. Then people who they think they know it all, but they haven't seen or heard from their twin flame in years. But they think they're balanced and they, they just know they're twin flames or they're spreading the message that you know, twin flames aren't meant to be together, but I'm a twin flame and I've not seen my twin flame in years, that's then going to feed your push and make you think that twin flames aren't meant to be together. So it makes you not want to believe in this journey anyway. And it's all bullshit. Twin flames are meant to be together. And if you balance, they will be with you. And again, no offense to them people. I'm not trying to throw shade at anyone, but I just don't want you guys getting stuck anymore. But like I said, they aren't on this journey because there is always doubt on this journey. But when you balance, if you decide to do the work that you need to do on this journey, there won't be doubt when you completely balance out your push because you're then shifted closer into alignment with your soul's true vibration. And your soul knows its own truth. You know, it knows its own journey and you'll resonate deeply with that. And doubt is signature on this journey, it's hallmark. And the level of it varies from person to person, but if you're doubting or if you've ever doubted, then you most likely are on this journey. And you'll also see that the doubt actually fluctuates. Like when the energy builds up and the pain and the depression and the heartbreak and all those low vibrational feelings kick in and you get into your head and feel fearful and confused and pissed off and heartbroken all over again. When you're in that state, doubt goes hand in hand with that because your push actually makes you feel those things by planting thoughts into your mind, which it then reacts to, which then causes the feelings. And when you're doing that, your push is like, yes, now I can get him or her to doubt. And it's like a gourmet meal for me right there. I'm going to be fed for days. So it does it on purpose. Like I said, it's trying to sabotage you because it wants to feed. But when you feel more in flow and in your resonance and in your soul's truth and knowing, the doubt just isn't there because you just know and it's not something that you can think your way there. This is a shift. It's a resonance. It's a remembrance. And even when you wish this wasn't happening, you still know that this is what it is. You know, I went through that for a long time. You know, I wanted to reject this journey and say, I just want to get off it. And this is bullshit and I don't want to do it. But I knew that this is what it was and I, I had to do the work. And that brings me to the next point, which is, to be honest, if they weren't your twin flame, you'd be able to move on and get over them. You know, the fact that you can't shows that this is different. It shows that there's something else going on. You know, I've had heartbreak in the past, but I knew that person wasn't my forever. And yes, in the moment it still hurt, but I moved on very fast. You know, I was on to the next in no time and I never looked back. And if I did look back in one of those rare cases, I would see that, no offense, but I never actually gave a shit about them. But well, that wasn't the case with my twin flame. So I knew something different was going on and it's probably something you guys are experiencing too. You know, there are so many fields of thought out there telling you the wrong twin flame information. You know, a bunch of confused and unbalanced people just projecting their shit onto other people or trying to figure out what's going on with them and pulling people in the wrong direction because they've not figured it out. But there are fields of thought out there that will lead you to the truth that you know within because like I said your soul knows its own journey and there are fields of thought which do share the truth of your soul and you just need to retune yourself to those because following all the shit out there and listening to it, it's just going to feed the doubt then you're going to feel worse and worse and then your soul's going to bring you back to twin flames and you're going to say I'm back at square one now and I don't want to do this so just be careful which information you're consuming but as I always say to people just trust what you feel within and as you balance, the doubt will dissipate along with your push energy because it is all the push energy and you'll just be left with truth and trust and love and you'll accept that you're on this journey and there won't be all that resistance because you've changed your focus, you've changed your intention. It's no longer about, you know, refeeding all the stories and looking at what was said and bringing it down to the 3D. You see the bigger picture and that's when you'll start balancing out and your twin flame will come back in in a completely new energy. So I hope that clears up the question about doubt, if they are your twin flame, if you're on this journey. And if you want to learn how to balance out the energy and shift all that doubt once and for all, then that's what my course is for. Everything's on my website and 
if you feel guided to join that please feel free and um just housekeeping as well i am getting an assistant who's starting next week so i'm not going to be answering any personal questions i won't be reading anything she'll be entirely control of my inbox and she'll be scheduling calls she'll be enrolling people all of that so please don't send me long messages about your journey especially if you're not working with me because they'll be missed and i don't want you to feel ignored so thanks for watching like i said thanks for bearing with me on getting videos back up and i'll see you in the next video